Yo guys, there's the Gogeta back at it again, and today, uh, I just wanted to start talking about, uh, just more, more possibilities for Godzilla to just get more powerful in, uh, than the MonsterVerse. So, uh, we all know that in previous Godzillas, that, um, about the Burning G Spark Heat Ray, and I think, uh, just more invulnerability, and just overall just more strength, and uh, far more wacky abilities. Now, uh, this version of Godzilla already has like wacky abilities, like I've already gone over. Like he has like that world sight, like uh, Mothra did. He has the ability like to contain the other Titans, and he is of course an Alpha Titan, so that gives grants him the ability to do, to do that. And uh, he also sees another like sees in like infrared and shit like that. And uh, he might be getting more power further on, and this is just overall like his evolution. And he didn't really evolve from that much from the uh, from the second movie to Godzilla vs Kong, but we know that uh, he's done burning Godzilla. And I'm just wondering like what other wacky abilities that that he might get. So could he possibly like like I know this is probably a stretch. But him getting like more like getting a magnet like magnetism abilities like a Showa counterpart did, and uh, no and possibly like absorbing um, Ghidorah's uh, like gravity beams and then kind of like using that to his own will like empowering his atomic breath or granting him more abilities or like they mix his DNA with King Ghidorah's DNA. To kind of give him that Super Godzilla in a sense. Because that happened in a Godzilla game called Super Godzilla. And I think it was for the Super Nintendo. And uh, Godzilla, like, he goes through the city fighting monster after monster. Like, he fights Mecha Godzilla. He fights, I think he fights Gigan. I We all know he fights Ghidorah. And possibly other monsters, too. Eventually, uh, have his DNA spliced with, the, uh, with Ghidorah. Like, Ghidorah's, like, DNA was put into him, which gives him more abilities and makes him stronger, in a sense. And, uh, this is during the Heisei era, and he basically starts, he, he starts fighting Bagon, or Bagan, however you want to pronounce it, and he starts showing, like, a whole bunch of new abilities, and he even transformed into a new version of himself, which was inspired by, obviously, Super Saiyan, and, um... He ha he kind of had like a belly blast, kind of like uh, like God like Mecha Godzilla from Mecha Go uh, from the Heisei era. Like he had that belly beam, but this time it was like he blasted it out. Of, like he had like some sort of like weird circular gem on like in, I wouldn't say belly. It would like be more right around like where the ch like chest ends, but where the belly begins. It's like you're right in around that no area where the like the diaphragm's at and he just basically shoots out of there like freaking iron man <laughs> he shoots out of his like chest like area like iron man and it basically looks like a uh it looks like a dragon fist that goku uses in uh obviously dragon ball and um because at the end of the blast is godzilla's face which is pretty interesting so i'm just wondering like what other wacky abilities Godzilla could get throughout the future and that that's for the next video and just what more like how could he start getting stronger god damn it mom how could he start getting stronger like how like could he go to like nuclear power plants like his IDW counterpart and basically like destroy him destroy them to gain more power, but then again, this Godzilla isn't, like, he isn't so malevolent as that, count, like, the more, uh, like, more, like, previous Godzilla po counterparts, I can't fucking speak, apparently, and, or more or less, he could go to the Hollow Earth and gain more energy. Now, this is probably the most, uh, logical theory on how Godzilla could possibly get more stronger because it's I mean it makes sense because you got the hollow earth just filled with so much energy 
and some like it, that energy is literally what Godzilla is made out of. And if he's around it more, the more stronger he'll become. And that's probably gonna probably what's gonna happen in the uh, in the next movie. And Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire. Can't wait for it. Um, it's probably what's gonna happen is that uh, Kong is down there, and then the Scar King shows up, and possibly Shimu. I don't know. And uh, Godzilla goes down there as well to check things out, to make sure everything's all nice and balanced. And then uh, he's basically open for all that energy to kind of just get sucked inside him and then he might explode kind of like this but that has uh parallels with what's already been done in the 2019 king of the monsters so instead of like bursting out like his nuclear pulse right here he'll he'll probably res you know he'll most likely result in a new transformation or like a new power up in a sense so can't wait to see that I want to see just how much stronger Monster vs. Godzilla will get and see if more powers um, will start like having more parallels with his previous counterparts like Showa, Millennium, and all those guys. So yeah. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more of me. And this has been Thirsty Gogeta. Signing out. Peace.